Hey everybody, Spoonvad here, and we're here with the third of the four uh, unknown distros. Yeah, we're Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Um, we have Bodhi, Bodhi Live, Bodhi Linux. Um, we're just gonna boot it up. I know nothing of all these distros. They could be all, I don't know, KDE, they could be all LXDE, I have no clue. Uh, ooh, this looks like the boot up screen of another distro we did. Uh, was it Zor I think it was Zorin OS. Zorin or or maybe I know this is the same that uh, of of Fedora, so I have no clue. Maybe maybe that's the connection I'm I'm drawing. Let's see what in this hidden gem. Alright, it's booting up very slowly, but it's probably because of my setup. We're almost there, we're almost there. I'm excited, I don't know what it is. Wow, that's something that I did not expect. Wow. Alright, this is new. Cool. This looks pretty fancy. Fancy. Alright, let's let's just see what it is. Okay, you can do bear. You only have the clock module. Oh, it's based on enlightenment. Oh cool. Enlightenment is uh is a very nice uh, environment you can make some very nice things with it but the trouble with that is it takes a lot to make this look beautiful compositing flashy effects uh, cool desktop is a normal thing oh man it's so annoying all right so so far I want to have the compositing which has the Flashy effects. This is a more artistic layout. Laptop is suited for laptop, I think, and a tablet netbook looks even better. Okay, use this one scores a hell of a lot of points for me because it gives you the option in the setup for a whole range of devices like. People want a desktop, you get a desktop. If you want flashy effects, you get the flashy effects. No need to download different distros like different ISO images with that's called uh, I don't know Bodhi Linux dot flashy dot ISO. No, they just give you the option here, even for laptop and tablet and netbooks, and it really looks perfect. This one for use with uh, with a netbook or uh, or a tablet. Uh, kudos. Really, Bodhi, you surprised me in a very good way. I'm gonna go with compositing because I want to see if my thing can handle flashy effects. No, wait. So far, I've seen that my virtual machine cannot handle that. Still, I want to try. Choose a theme. More points. More and more and more points. You can select the theme that's behind it and have a lot of style alright this is a bit too dark for me I know I said I like dark but this is too dark uh, this is no no yeah I'm gonna go with this one it's pretty cool looks like uh, oh, what's it called tree called uh, Yggdrasil uh, I think is the name of the tree if you have no clue what I'm talking about, it doesn't matter. Ah, oh, let's see. Ah, oh, damn, that's too bad. Okay, this is official. I'm going to show you uh, Bodhi Linux with compositing effects. Um, um, I need a pen. I need a pen. Alright. I'm going to do Bodhi Linux compositing. Definitely, I need that. Um, I might as well write up the songs. I forgot to do that. All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, so far, it looks pretty awesome. I'm a bit confused by the menu. Uh, this is a menu. This is the desktop environment. This is me starting Midori. This is installing, which we're gonna do. This is the wireless network. And this is the audio. All right, the audio and the network button look a lot alike. I do not like this menu bar so far, but I did score with a lot of points with giving you the option of what you want to install and stuff. 
Okay, this looks a lot like gnome. Trusted gnome. And I can find my time automatically. Look, this, this is the stuff you need. I uh, know, choose my own because I know what I want. Whatever, I can do what I want. Um, yeah, that's my name. And we're gonna call this Bodhi. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's based on uh, Ubuntu. But it, uh, it uses the Enlightenment desktop. Yeah, so far I'm liking this one. And not because it's no more enlightenment. I just like the fact how they set it up. I mean, give you the choice of what you want to install, how you want to install it. That's that's pretty cool. Oh, it started in the same time I did. A year ago, fall 2010. The same as uh, as Magia. See, there's something about that time, that period of time that just sparked excellent ideas. Yeah, cool. They're gonna do Arch and Fedora based releases in the future as well. That's cool. That's really cool. I'm gonna do Arch Linux as well because that's like for the die hard hardcore fans of Linux, then you need Arch Linux. If you even want, I'm also gonna go one step further than that, and that's Linux from scratch. Like Arch Linux gives you the tools to make your not your own distro but makes you gives you the tools to set up uh, your own distro even more than normally normally you would, you would already download a certain desktop environment and in that way or in that distro Arch Linux only gives you the basic very 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 basic tools <clears throat> to boot up your computer and get into a command line prompt as it were that's it that that's it. What you get, you don't get. Uh, you know, X uh, is the thing that's usually used to make everything visual, and then you can alter X to make uh, uh, like enlightenment is a uh, uh, addition to X. Uh, Gnome is an addition to X. X is what um, makes uh, it possible to in like interact with your video card. I would say. And then everything around that, the desktop environments, use that X and just make it more customizable and stuff like that. So, yeah. And so if you don't want a desktop environment, you don't need to. Arch Linux gives you plenty of other options. So that's pretty cool. All right. Um, it is is also installing very quickly very quickly so Bodhi give gets a lot of points a whole lot of points damn this is a good distro I I did not know what to expect literally I don't know because these four I did like blind without even looking up what it was so yeah good this is awesome we hope you enjoy Bodhi Linux. I will. I will indeed. <clears throat> and I'm actually looking to get involved into these projects because they are a great way to get experience uh, in not only coding but also uh, problem solving. That's that's the best. Yes, we're going to restart now because we want to see the full desktop. Yeah, go for it. Let's go for it. Let's boot it. It doesn't boot up that very quickly though. So it takes a long time to really boot up, but it wants to... Oh, never mind, scrap that. It's like he knows. Again, we can select what we want. Um, I'm, I'm gonna do fancy this time, right? The uh, compositing doesn't work, so I'm gonna do fancy. 
gonna select the same thing. Select applications. Wow. I want that one. That one. It's pretty handy. I'm going to test. I don't need that one. Install release. No. Appearance. Alrighty then. Okay, you get a lot of desktops <laughs> as you can see here. But that's okay. Uh, you have some excellent programs here. The only thing I'm gonna do. Okay, right mouse button. Yes, it does work, but it takes a long time. Apparently. No, left mouse button is uh, the menu. Um, enlightenment settings. Settings panel. Screen. Screen resolution. We want the screen resolution to be that. Apply. Oh, yes, sir. I mean, look at that. It's huge. Uh, only that sport that disappeared and the clock disappeared. So, alright, I have no idea how to get that back. Must not be that difficult, but then again, who might say? Alright, we get Midori as the browser, which is a very simple browser. Alright, that is that, that is that. They could have changed that a bit though. Like a small change between between these two buttons. Because it's not clear what they do right now. That's the only thing. This is actually pretty 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 cool. Let me see if I got already internet on here. I think I should have. Yeah, I do. I do. Cool. Oh, something I wanted to tell you in this video uh, no that's not the correct one sorry this one has actually been indexed already in Google how awesome is that also as you can see my uh, music project is on my Facebook page my personal Facebook page, or not my personal, but my Spoonfed page, uh, ah, my Spoonfed profile page on Facebook instead of my Facebook group page. Uh, let's put it that way. Um, so yeah, actually, this whole thing looks pretty awesome. Uh, I have no idea. I would suggest this to people definitely takes probably a while to set up because you need to um, you know what let's see let's see add software it's set here let's, let's see how it works no go away Here you have even bundles they have made for you, so you can uh, take a bundle that has like a lot of functionality but l low resources, um, and here you just download them. I think I'm just gonna go for one. I want to have transmission. You can say install now. If you've chosen app URL, this should be thought so. It was just testing. Right now it works like a charm. I love it when things just work. 
as you can see it uses uh, Ubuntu as the main source in case you ever wondered where do all these packages come from they're all hosted on servers package servers uh, and usually there are Debian servers or, or Ubuntu once install yes well that's how to install uh, software here that's pretty easy actually so yeah this is Bodhi Linux and I am happily surprised uh, I cannot believe this distro is so freaking awesome actually uh, I can't wait to get the composting uh, going on and I will be doing that I will be doing that because I got GNOME 3 to work on Ubuntu I can probably get this to work too um, so yeah this is Bodhi Linux and I would suggest to download this if you want something new unexpected but works like a charm um, yeah, that's it for me. Uh, have fun. And see you next time.